Francisco A. Berlin, B-E-R-L-A-N. I like to go by Tony. Well, <clears throat> yeah. going back to when I turned the gas on, I, I talked to the second individual that was recommended to me, the guy that I never met, just t text back and forth. And he told me things like, well, you know, when your system comes on and you're gonna smell gas because you might have air in the system, you may have to turn it on, turn it off a little bit and do this, you know, get it out of the system. He said, if you do it two or three times and you still smell gas, there's an issue with it. Luckily, I don't work. The wife works and I'm, a, I'm afraid if the, the roles were changed and I was working and she wasn't, she would have went in there and turned on the heater and not thought about it. And it could have been disastrous, but I just, I, I didn't have a good, feeling about it and uh, when First Choice came out and talked to Luke and Luke said he had to get his manager, supervisor, whoever Ralph is, that's his title, uh, come out and uh, he said, uh, well the end result was Ralph had told me and Luke had told me previously that that the flue gas wasn't hooked up, which is uh, pretty pretty important, I know that, you know what I mean? carbon monoxide, I believe it is, coming out. And had I not, and I'm saying I'm not a savior or nothing, but had I not turned the system off, we could have slept through it and that would have been it. But uh, that, he said, there's mixed matching system. I've got a Bryant AC out there, and I don't know what the system is upstairs, but it's not a Bryant, it's mixed match. Coil coils wasn't put together, there's tape. I went out and got the tape myself. I'm not an HVAC guy, but I, <laughs> I know you could tell there's things wrong. My neighbor went up there, me and him went up there and tried to do the garage type mechanic and stuff that I'm, I know how to do. You know, I bought the aluminum tape, I bought the sheet metal, you know, and we were gonna do that, but it was far more extensive than that. And I'm glad I called First Choice because, I mean, everything down to the platform that they put the AC on, I mean, it's, it's hanging over, you know, that's another, that's on the outside. That goes back to the air conditioning side of it. I mean, everything was just put together shabby. And, and you, you would look at it like the guy had some kind of something against me or something. I mean, because it's so obvious that it, the untrained eye is in my eyes seeing things that you could tell, I'm not an HVAC guy, you could tell wasn't right. And then I finally went to first choice, first choice. Because uh, my son, who had told me about the first individual, he said, hey, Dad, why don't you use these guys? They, they, they did my system. I never used the guy I, I recommended to you. I was just giving you word of mouth of what they told me. I should have went to first choice first. I should have went, told you about first choice first, but call these guys. And I called them, and I talked to Ralph. Ralph came out. Well, Luke came out. He looked at it. and. I could see in his face there was something wrong. So <laughs> anyway, Ralph came out, we discussed it, and we're where we're at today.